Hi, I am Dr. Sake Mansur. I am um, speaking from my channel Learning Anatomy. And uh, um, today's um, uh, topic is very serious and uh, very important. And uh, talking to the community and uh, the whole world, the pandemic COVID-19. And uh, as uh, it has uh, uh, been resurgent, it is now it's a real resurgence zone and uh, hit all the countries overall and uh, the new many cases are there and the deaths occurring every day so we have to be very careful many in, uh, countries partially um, the high risk areas are partially locked down again and uh, we as a community have to spread the word how to prevent it how to be stay safe and how to treat it and uh, how we have to manage and combat it um, as uh, everything as I am a health professional, I'm a doctor. So it's my duty to spread the message and uh, create a, um, in, uh, awareness as part of the I mean, mass awareness created by all the social media and uh, every I mean, uh, literature person. So uh, this is a thing and uh, first of all, we'll uh, talk about uh, today's uh, statistics. Uh, to um, that will uh, denote the um, I mean, uh, impact of the um, uh, resurgence that how uh, the disease is uh, overtaken and uh, the whole um, people and uh, the whole uh, world again and uh, the, the today's uh, statistics are uh, that uh, the confirmed cases all over the world I mean globally are uh, 44 million 888,869. These are the, you know, confirmed cases on the 30th till the coronavirus onset, right? These are the confirmed cases all over the world. I repeat, 44,888,869. These are the confirmed cases. And uh, most of them, uh, fortunately, have recovered. And uh, the recovered cases are 33,139,247. Uh, These are the recovered cases of the COVID-19 so far all over the world. And unfortunately, a lot many deaths have occurred, which are over 1 million all over the world. 1 million people died due to the COVID-19 reportedly and uh, 1,178,475. This is the complete figure till the 30th of October that uh, this is the 1,178,475 people are no more. So they are the victimized by this fatal virus, the COVID-19. In the last 24 hours on this evening of the you know, 30th of October globally, 7,009 people are died due to this virus. So this is the global impact of the you know virus, and uh, have to I mean, uh, discuss uh, what is the situation. Why I'm uh, compelled to talk to you on my this YouTube channel to you, and uh, and uh, but first of all, uh, no, this, this would be a, a maybe a recapitulation of the things which were already familiar that the virus originated. Where did it originate from? Like way back um, uh, sometime, uh, there were um, many cases of pneumonia reported in China. And uh, ultimately it was uh, discovered that it's a group of virus, the coronavirus. Uh, this is responsible for that, that pneumonia, and uh, which can be so fatal that um, it can lead to death. So this is the corona name is derived from the, the shape of the virus is, uh, you know, like... Uh, <coughs> crown shift so this is the thing and um, it drives its name corona and uh, it's a group of the virus it's a new virus and uh, so it's a new virus obviously there is no immunity to that it's a new and uh, there is no herd immunity nothing uh, at all uh, developed so far and uh, so there is no vaccine for that so far with uh, the health professional and every all over the world it's being uh, uh, tried very hard that some vaccine be discovered and some treatment be discovered uh, which is authenticated and effective so but uh, unfortunately so far there is no vaccine available and no uh, you know treatment uh, modality which is confirmed and recommended in uh, any case 
So like they say, you use the vitamin D and um, yeah, zinc supplements. It's, it's good. We can use that. And uh, this is the thing that uh, so first of all, uh, I will now uh, talk about the um, mainly uh, the animal handling is very important in that. And some people, uh, the researchers, scientists, and in fact, it is true they believe that the disease uh, uh, originated from animals like cats and camel. And uh, so uh, the close handling and contact with the um, animals should be avoided, uh, which is uh, which is unnecessary. So unnecessary contact with the animals has to be avoided uh, to uh, spread uh, to control the spread of the disease. So this is one very important step in the prevention, right? So then uh, uh, we can uh, say uh, what is the transmission of the disease. Uh, uh, that is uh, you know mainly by the droplet infection and uh, droplet means uh, by the you know our uh, breath and uh, everything and uh, so we have to uh, be uh, observing physical distancing uh, which is the six feet standard distance should be maintained between any two people especially if somebody is uh, not well and um, if the mask is there, so you can I mean, um, maybe compromise on that. So mask is to be used. Sometimes even um, mask is not uh, present uh, temporarily. You can use the tissue paper or uh, something like that. And uh, so this is a basic thing, um, six feet distancing and the at least two arms uh, length uh, distance. And uh, then uh, we have to uh, you know, observe that uh, when uh, not to shake hands with the people. And there's no need to that in this COVID-19 uh, situation. And uh, then if somebody has to sneeze or cough, it has to be done in uh, a flexed elbow like this. <coughs> yeah, this, this is a very basic thing. So always cough in the elbow. So flexed elbow. So this is uh, the, another point. Then we have to wash our hands frequently. Wash your hands frequently. Do use a hand sanitizer which is alcohol based, but it has to be less often used uh, because this chemical can be sometimes uh, I mean, not so good for health. It can be absorbed and can damage. So it's better to I mean, uh, wash your hands with soap water and soap so that is the best method so wash it again and again especially if you are outside and uh, where its contamination is uh, expected this is the thing and then uh, you I mean, um, do after these things uh, always wear a mask so this is the thing basically wherever you go and basic thing uh, which I believe is um, uh, if uh, there is no compulsory need to go outside you should stay home stay home stay safe this is the best policy again and uh, there's no point in going um, and wandering out of course it's, just, it's a pandemic so stay home and do something constructive of course working from home is a better idea for those who can work and the economic uh, you know stress is uh, fear going to be increased as um, I fear many people will be losing their jobs and uh, maybe god forbid and uh, like which was previously happening and it happened and uh, any and some of the salary slashes were done so this is whatsoever and uh, the economic and the other businesses are, i mean uh, not working and the sort of economic um, uh, burden is already on all of us and uh, everybody so, so what can be done about that so something globally can be done by the uh, various uh, nations to I mean, uh, develop a strategy uh, towards that and uh, then uh, this is the you know uh, the uh, transmission the, um, you know uh, prevention because I believe uh, this is uh, as there is no specific treatment available of this uh, COVID-19 no vaccine I told you and uh, no treatment particular so we have to focus on the prevention I believe that uh, in prevention uh, one has to focus on the overall uh, general physical fitness as uh, immunity can be built uh, with these things like uh, I told you uh, zinc and uh, vitamin D calcium supplements so very good for health 
And overall, you can uh, take good natural, good food like the fruits and the vegetable, ample amount of uh, water, and do exercise regularly. And uh, you have to jog and do, 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 don't, don't, don't go to open parks. Take a I mean, uh, treadmill if you can afford, and it's good. you can use the stairs to go up and down the stairs. Or even even in the house, you can walk, and um, so you can uh, learn exercises which are, uh, as you know, that uh, not um, exhausting, and uh, you can do at home. Uh, like you could purchase some equipment um, um, for exercise at home, some dumbbells or something, anything like that. It's very helpful. You can build up in uh, some uh, mass in the body, and uh, obviously uh, you will it will increase your metabolism and. Uh, we need more food, eat more protein and the healthy food and the good vitamins. And uh, that will ultimately build your immunity to fight the illness and then not going into that uh, respiratory problem. I told you that the two main specific problems either could be the symptoms, could be the symptoms, could be the, to, to talk about the symptoms, could be the respiratory and the gastrointestinal. So the respiratory uh, generally are mild, can be which which with cold or cough, and the fever is always a component. And uh, when the uh, symptoms are severe in the respiratory spectrum, it can lead to pneumonia. If the some forms uh, are not that uh, virulent and cause less severe pneumonia, and if uh, some uh, virus strains are very very bad. And they lead to the very serious uh, respiratory um, complications. And, uh, I've seen many people on ventilators. So this is the point, and the shortness of breath is a basic symptom of the uh, this uh, corona. And the, in the gastrointestinal symptoms are generally not serious. In the mild system, the symptoms. So this is the symptoms of the you know virus uh, affecting the respiratory and the the uh, our, uh, gastrointestinal system. So, and again, this is the diagnosis. It's very important. I told you, which is through the uh, PCR uh, uh, test of the uh, you know virus polymerase chain reaction. So, this is a test. Good test. If it is positive, uh, so the patient is having fever and uh, cold and coughing, sneezing. Immediately, would get to the um, in Corona virus test. If it is positive, uh, he or she should be separated in quarantine and uh, treated uh, accordingly what treatment is suitable. This is a treatment I told you, general supportive treatment, no specific treatment and uh, just to separate uh, from the people, uh, not to spread it to the other people. And the most uh, uh, risk, high risk people are the we people doctors have to treat uh, them and uh, then the uh, patient attendants, family members, they are at risk, they are dealing directly with them and the health professional, all we people doctors, nurses, the paramedical staff. And uh, then uh, these are the some facts about uh, this virus and uh, so prevention is you know better. And, uh, so spread the message and uh, hope uh, you like this uh, information given to me and uh, hopefully if you like you um, spread the message and share and forward the message onwards and uh, say goodbye and take good care of you.